Hey everybody. So, here in the next couple of days, we here in Utah are about to hit a heat wave that uh, normally we see more to the end of June, first part of July, but we're gonna see it for about four days. It's gonna go from the low to mid 80s all the way up into the upper 90s. And they're expecting to see, some reports are 98, 97, but uh, the question comes is how are we going to, in a drought, be able to withstand that kind of heat and make sure that our lawns look great and green during that whole time. Well, let's talk about it. Let's go. Now, one of the things that I like to use and I found just works miracles and wonders is this product, Hydrotain. I used it the year before last, I used it last year, and I can tell you now, I was really impressed with the way that it handled itself and how it worked and the overall results that I got. Now how it works is that it retains the mo helps to retain the moisture in the ground. Now one of the things that I'm going to try this year that I haven't tried before is the granular form of Hydrotain. It comes in a 40 pound bag. Um, that I got here at a local shop, but you can buy both the liquid and the granular on yardmastery.com. So I'll leave the links in the product description down below. Hydrotain has been one of the items that I've used as part of my summer regimen, and we are only three weeks away from summer starting. So it's time to prepare now to get everything ready to be able to withstand the heat and the drought stress that we here in Utah are about to endure. <laughs> No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And there are a lot of other places around the country that are experiencing the exact same thing. It's not just here in Utah, but Utah is the second driest state in the Union for overall total rainfall over the year. So, to combat that, we're going to try the granular hydrotain. Let's go. Hydrotain suggests that you, for best results, you apply this to a lawn that already has been wet and then to then, after it's been applied, to then water it in. So I've let my sprinkler system go ahead and run for about 10 minutes to get a little bit of water into the ground and into the soil to start. And then I'm going to come back behind, put my application down of the Hydrotain granular and then water it in deeply just as soon as I'm done putting it down. Now. The application rate for the granular is 2.7 pounds for every 1,000 square feet, and I'm just shy of, of 5,000 square feet, 2.7. So we're looking at a total throwdown of about 13 and a half pounds total in my lawn to hit the 5,000 at 2.7 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Now to be more accurate, and I usually always measure my fertilizer and any other granular applications that I'm using weight as I put, throw it down, is I use my fish scale first things first. Got to zero out the weight of the bucket. Otherwise, you're going to be completely off. And this bucket I have experienced is between 1.7 and 1.8 pounds. But let's uh, let's zero it out. One point one pound ten ounces. Looks like it's gained some weight, kind of like its owner. <laughs> Now anything that I add to this is going to be the pure weight of the product in the bucket. Currently, I'm at 13 pounds, one ounce. So I need another four ounces.
also the instructions say that this should be set at three and a quarter on the Scotts broadcast spreader. Now one of the ways that hydrotain works is it draws the moisture vapor out of the air. Now granted, I live here in Utah, very arid state, not a lot of overall moisture, but there is still humidity in the air. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show this by doing an experiment. I know that we've all done this. This is a frozen bottle of water, completely solid through, and I'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes out in the, out in the open air and we're gonna see how much water and humidity there is available that condensates on this bottle. Now some states are gonna get more like if you've ever been down to Florida or somewhere tropical like Cancun or something like that you get anything with that's cold or ice and that thing is just literally dripping with water and you could almost use that to as a second drink. Milk was a bad choice. We're going to try this out 30 minutes later. Let's see how much moisture there is in the air here in Utah. 20 minutes later. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay. 30 minutes later. Let's see if you can see this. Not a ton, but there's moisture in the air. And you can see the small drops there. Of course, we live in a very arid state. If this were Florida, the thing would be just be dripping. But we'll take what we can get. So, pretty cool. And you can see that little drop there. We do have humidity. And that's what hydrotain will pull from, is to take that moisture in the air, be able to condense it, and make it into usable droplets that the plant can then use and plant growth, plant hydration, making sure that your water goes farther and that you're not having to use any more watering than is necessary. And so what that does is that helps to reduce your amount of water that's needed because it's pulling naturally from the air and being able to use that. And it will reduce the amount of watering you have to do naturally. So in dry arid states, that can be a big deal. Here in Utah, there was a news article that just came out yesterday that said that if we continue to use the residential watering the way we are, it's going to drain the reservoir uh, and that water will be turned off by mid-August. We'll see if that happens. 
I'm not too happy to hear that because I wasn't happy to hear that we were getting things turned on two weeks later in the spring and two weeks earlier in the fall. But everybody's got to pitch in and play their part, but we as human beings are a little bit more wasteful than I'd like to even mention. And after any granular application, always give your app a good blowjob. Later that same evening, just then, just then, by sheer coincidence. So, I just noticed something as I was finishing up in the front yard. This little treasure was not here earlier. Thank you to whoever decided to let your dog take care of their business and just left it dangling all over my driveway. That's pretty freaking cool. Thank you so very much. I don't know exactly how this occurred. Just dangle out of the backside and you just let it dangle from there or what? Stupid. Totally do not understand this. Some people are just ignorant. All sizes, all shapes. That's a pisser offer. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one. So here's We're every up. here's everybody for favorite. I know, I am. See ya. Go and hang out with boy. Yeah, go and hang out with boy. Hey. Remember who you are. Don't like it, There you go.